Hi everybody. So back last fall I did a pantry tour video and I had a lot of comments from some of our viewers regarding can you show me now what you make with all of that? So today's meal is another perfect example. I've done a couple in the past but today's meal is going to be great because almost all of it is um, homegrown preserved meals. We're making a quick healthy chili. So let's go down to the pantry and let's get our groceries. Okay, for this recipe, I need to grab sweet potatoes, the beef that I canned, some beans, and the Mexican stewed uh, tomato sauce stuff that I made. I will try to, down in the description if I remember, and I'm really bad at this, I'll try to leave a link to um, any of those canning videos that I made. I don't think I ever did one on beans, but it's pretty simple. So let's grab what we need and then we'll head back up and get prepping. So here's my Mexican tomatoes. It's a ball recipe that you just um, basically make a tomato sauce and then add whatever seasonings you want. And so I did those. I'm gonna grab two of those and I need some chicken stock. So we'll grab, that's honey, um, two chicken stocks. And then what else do I need? Oh, I said beef. I think all my beef might be upstairs. That's pork. Oh, here's beef. <clears throat> so that's the roast beef that we canned. And what did I say? Oh, beans. And here's, uh, it calls for black beans in the recipe. I don't have that, so I'm just using my pinto beans. And oh, sweet potatoes, of course. Can't forget those. So here we have our sweet potatoes. We'll take all this up. We'll be ready to cook. Okay, back up from the pantry. I'm gonna do all my prep work and then I'll bring you guys back. I need to wash and chop the sweet potatoes. I need to run out to the garden and get some of that cilantro I found growing the other day. Bring you guys back as I throw it together and we'll tell you how it is. The first thing that we're going to want to do is bring this up to medium heat and cook these sweet potatoes for about seven to nine minutes. So the recipe um, did say for, I'm just tossing them in the oil, the recipe did say to uh, add your seasonings at this point, but all my seasonings are already in my potato or tomato sauce. Okay, at this point I'm going to remove that from the heat and toss in some quinoa. A cup of quinoa, we're just going to stir this for about 30 seconds while it's off the heat. And we'll add it back. Okay, here's where it gets fun. We'll add our chicken broth. Uh, tomatoes, I got more chicken broth in the upstairs pantry. I get all those good seasonings out. Shoot this one up. I do wish I had black beans. It would certainly many times I've needed them. So next year or this year, I should say, on my canning to-do list is black beans. 
And then um, our beef. I'm gonna step away for a second and take the layer of fat off the top of this. You know what, it's not that much. It'll be good flavor. Uh, what was next? Let's see, I think you just let this simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, I needed to add one more chicken stock. I forgot about that. But I don't think it needs it, to be honest with you. Let me show you guys. This, see, I don't think it needs it. Some of this is going to evaporate while it simmers. And I like my chili somewhat thicker, so I think I'm gonna leave it as is. So I'll bring you back when it's time to eat. I'm gonna run out to the garden, grab some cilantro, and then um, there's two more steps you need to do at the end, so stay tuned and I'll share that with you. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is the recipe calls for corn. And so just like a cup. So this is corn that I got from the farmer's market. So that'll be another video I'll try to link. I found an awesome farmer's market around. And another thing I said incorrectly, bring this to a, to a boil, then cover and simmer. So let me get this up to a boil. <laughs> Todd is outside, so we're gonna call him real quick and see if he'll just grab the cilantro and then I don't have to go out there. <laughs> Are you out back? Yeah. Can you grab some cilantro on your way up? Sure thing. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Bye, babe. Bye, Score! I don't have to go outside. <laughs> wow, guys, it smells so good, but it's done, so I'm going to add those last two ingredients. So let me set you down and let's look what, see what it looks like. Ooh. That really thickened up. Maybe I should have added that other can of um, chicken broth after all, but it's gonna be good. Let's put our cilantro in. There's not much, because as you know, it's winter and I was surprised it was even growing in the garden to begin with. And I'm gonna throw in the last little bit of cowboy candy that I had in the fridge. There's plenty down more in the pantry. And what was the last thing? Oh, they said add three tablespoons of lime juice. Okay. Of course, salt and pepper to taste. And we're ready to serve this up. I wanna taste one of these sweet potatoes and make sure it's done. Mm -hmm. It's done. <clears throat> okay, we're just serving it with a little cheese. You could serve it with sour cream, whatever your favorite toppings are for chili. But this guy's my honest taste tester. If you guys have been watching us for a while, you know I'm not the average cook, meaning I really don't know a thing about it. I have to <laughs> um, find a recipe and practice. So first off, he wasn't excited about corn being in it because he's not a big fan of corn being in dishes. Corn is just a side dish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very earthy. Very earthy? Mm -hmm. That quinoa tastes like barley, which mm -hmm. has a very yeah. earthy flavor. It doesn't taste bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm glad we had that cilantro. I can taste it. It's really good. So anyway, guys, there's one more meal that we made from all of our stores. Didn't have to go to the grocery store for anything. Of course, the lime juice. We don't grow limes in Michigan, so I had to buy that. <laughs> um, and the quinoa was store-bought. But I could have made it without the quinoa, and it would have been probably just fine. Not as thick. Mm -hmm. So thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.